Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and with the Friends of Mineral Town remake being announced, and with the footage we've seen of it looking amazing, it's reminded me just how much I love the Harvest Moon series. It's making me think of all the Harvest Moon games I've sunk countless hours into, but it's also made me think about what other Harvest Moon games I would like to see remade after Friends of Mineral Town. So I made a list. Here are five Harvest Moon remakes that I would like to see. Number five is Hero of Leaf Valley. Now I know that Hero of Leaf Valley is already a remake of the fan favorite Save the Homeland, but I don't think it would be a bad thing to see this game come around again. In this game, Leaf Valley is in trouble. The Funland Corporation wants to replace the beautiful town with an amusement park. You have to work together with the people of Leaf Valley to put a stop to the corporation and save the town. The game revolves heavily around this storyline, and if you don't save the town in the given time frame, then you will get a game over and you have to start again. In Save the Homeland, you only had a year to do this, and after you save the town, you would get to start the year over and carry over your animals and money to your next playthrough to try for a different ending. There are multiple ways to save the town in Save the Homeland, and Hero of Leaf Valley expanded upon that by adding more endings and changing some old scenes and dialogue from the first game. Hero of Leaf Valley also added the ability to keep playing after year one, and the ability to get married, which made it feel a lot closer to a traditional Harvest Moon. There was a lot more added to this remake as well, like the mines being a whole new area, being able to upgrade your tools, upgrading your house, new characters, and a new marriage candidate. But even with all this, I still think there are some more things we can add to it that would make having a remake worth it. You can only get married in year three, after you've saved the town. But no matter what, you aren't able to have kids in Leaf Valley, which I think is a huge shame, because having kids is one of my favorite parts of Harvest Moon. There are also a good amount of festivals in this game, but there's no cooking festival, which made me sad, because it's my favorite festival to lose every year. That is not a joke, it happens. There's also a really good amount of recipes in this game as well, so I don't think it would feel out of place. And a big thing about Hero of Leaf Valley is that there's only a male protagonist. You can't play as the opposite gender. I think there's a lot that could be added to this game to make a good remake, but a big reason for me wanting this game to come around again is because both versions are a lot of fun, and if they build off it again and add a lot more stuff that was missing, then I think this could be one of my favorite Harvest Moon games. Number four is Harvest Moon DS and DS Cute. Out of all the games in the Harvest Moon series, Harvest Moon DS is the one I've probably put the most time into. A Wonderful Life was my first Harvest Moon game, so seeing the familiar characters and locations with a bunch of extra content added in, plus with the game being handheld, I jumped at this one and I loved it so much. In this game, the Witch Princess, a character who was new to the series at the time, and who I love, and the Harvest Goddess are fighting, when the Witch Princess banishes the Harvest Goddess and her 101 Harvest Sprites to another dimension. Your job is to save the Harvest Sprites and the Harvest Goddess all while running a farm. This storyline added a pretty fun mechanic to the game in my opinion. When you would do special and specific tasks, like try to leave town, or fill your watering can ten times, you would unlock a Harvest Sprite. Save enough of them and you would save the Harvest Goddess. Harvest Moon DS had a lot of content in it, and it felt like a combination of Friends of Mineral Town and A Wonderful Life, which was definitely a good thing in my mind. But just like both of those games, Harvest Moon DS got a female counterpart called Harvest Moon DS Cute. In this version, you played as the female protagonist, and the storyline differed a little bit, but what you had to do was the same. Other than that though, DS Cute had quite a few changes. You could choose between two different looks for your main character at the start of the game. You could change your clothes, there were quite a few new cutscenes that weren't in the original game, you could marry the special characters, such as the Witch Princess and the Harvest Goddess, but the game called it the Best Friend System, even though you literally proposed to them using a blue feather and were gifted a child by the Harvest Lord. But, y you know, Best Friend System. Yeah, alright. There's even a new character and marriage candidate named Sky, who is a phantom thief and the coolest character in the game. <coughs> Aside from the Witch Princess. <coughs> I think that combining these two games, like they're doing for the Friends of Mineral Town remake, would be fantastic, and it wouldn't feel out of place to have it in the same engine as the Friends of Mineral Town remake, because like I said, this game really does feel like a combination of Friends of Mineral Town and A Wonderful Life. Number three is Tree of Tranquility. Tree of Tranquility is a game that I stumbled upon randomly. A family member of mine owned it, and when I saw the game, I was like, hey, I like Harvest Moon games, can I borrow it? I took it home, and I swear I didn't put that game down until a month later when they asked for it back. I was addicted. Tree of Tranquility is one of the two Harvest Moon games on the Wii, the other being Animal Parade, which reuses the same cast, but has a lot more content and quality of life improvements. I've never played Animal Parade, despite hearing about how good it is, so I'm only talking about Tree of Tranquility here. In this game, the great tree on the island has withered and the Harvest Goddess has disappeared. It's up to you to revive the great tree and help the goddess return. Tree of Tranquility had a very interesting and unique feel to it, kind of like Magical Melody did for some people, and it's what drew me in immediately. Not only did this game have a unique feel, it also looked very different due to its art style. 
which, you know, also probably helped with that unique feeling. The character designer for the Harvest Moon series actually had nothing to do with this game, so that would explain a lot about how it looks. The farming in Trio Tranquility never felt out of place to me, and neither did the animals, even when I was riding an ostrich around town. Yeah, you can do that, and yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. Anyway, to help revive the great tree, you have to find harvest sprites around town and give them the correct items to get their rainbow recipe. Once you've given them all the items, they'll create a rainbow that you can walk over, and it'll lead to a new area for you to explore. Like I said for Harvest Moon DS, I love it when the Harvest Moon games add a little bit of story to them, but I really like it when they involve me collecting stuff like the harvest sprites or rainbow recipes in this game. Something that was super interesting in this game was that you don't start off with the dog like in other Harvest Moon games. Instead, there are 19 different wild animals around the map that consist of a dog, a panda bear, a turtle, a penguin, there's a bunch of animals. You can give them gifts and talk to them every day, and once they like you enough, you can invite them to be on your farm. This game was so different from others that I had played in the series at the time, and that's why it sticks out in my mind so much. The music, the characters, and the art style are definitely some of the best things about this game, and I would love to revisit it sometime. Maybe if we did get a remake of this game, it could include everything from Animal Parade as well, but I honestly just want this game remade, because it's fun and it's one of my favorite Harvest Moon games. Number 2 is Magical Melody. This is a Harvest Moon game that is definitely on my favorites list, but oddly enough, it's also one that I haven't played a whole lot of. It's a game that I would love to revisit, though. This game felt very different from any other Harvest Moon game I had played up until this point. Kind of like Trio Tranquility, and it really stood out because of that. I think it was because of its art style and graphics, but it left an impression on me. In this game, people have stopped believing in the Harvest Goddess, and so she turns herself to stone out of sadness and loneliness. The Harvest Sprites tell you that they're looking for musical notes that are needed to play the unfreezing song in order to save the Harvest Goddess, and they want your help. The musical notes are found in a very similar way to the Harvest Sprites in Harvest Moon DS. You get a music note every time you do something special or specific, like getting married or taking 10,000 steps. I love mechanics like this, and I think it works well for both Harvest Moon DS and Magical Melody. The characters in this game are returning characters from Save the Homeland on the PlayStation 2, with a few characters added in. This game had a pretty big map with lots of areas to explore, and had a fun mining mechanic as well. The farming, crop and animal wise, for this game felt off at first, but once I got used to the feel of this game, everything else just came naturally. This is also the first game in the series since the third Game Boy Color Harvest Moon game, by the way, to let you choose if you want to play as a boy or a girl, and not have another game for it. Magical Melody is a lot of fun, and I would definitely love to go back to it in the future, but one of the biggest reasons as to why it's on this list is because when I saw the trailer for the Friends of Mineral Town remake, I was immediately reminded of Magical Melody because of how it looked. The character models especially. I think that Magical Melody would have no problem being remade in the new Story of Seasons engine, and I actually think it would fit quite well both in the engine and on the Switch. And number one on this list goes to Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. A Wonderful Life was my first Harvest Moon game ever, and on my list of favorites, it definitely sits up top. I know that Harvest Moon DS is on this list, but because of how much I love A Wonderful Life, and with how much content is in Harvest Moon DS, I decided to keep them separate. In this game, your father has passed away, and it's up to you to take over his farm with the help of his good friend Takakura. A Wonderful Life definitely revolves around building a family more so than any other Harvest Moon game in my opinion. The game is split up into six chapters, and moves on at a set pace. The farming is fun, the characters are familiar to a lot of fans of the series, the cutscenes and events are funny and interesting, and the way that the chapters of the game progress through the years makes it fun to see the town change and the characters grow older. Even your kid will grow up to be a young adult in this game, which is something that a lot of fans have wanted the series to bring back for a long time. However, I think my favorite thing about this game is how it looks and feels. A Wonderful Life has some amazing graphics for its time, and in some cases they still hold up today. You know, as long as you just don't look too close at the textures. Especially when you take into account the atmosphere that the graphics bring. The game is super relaxing. One of the most relaxing in the series, in my opinion. And it manages to make you feel like you're really in a small, sleepy valley. One of my favorite feelings I get from this game is when you wake up at like 6am to start doing farm work, and you watch the sun rise while you work. It can actually make you feel like you're up and outside early in the morning. Anyway, enough gushing over this fantastic game, <laughs> let's talk about content. A Wonderful Life had a good amount of things to do. Most of this was thanks to the chapters that kept the game moving, but it was seen as one of the more empty Harvest Moon games due to the fact that you couldn't do stuff like collect stone and lumber, you couldn't upgrade your house on your own, the story did it for you, you couldn't build barns or chicken coops, you only got one of each, and the map wasn't very big. Because of all this, when the female counterpart, called Another Wonderful Life, came out, they decided to add a bit more content and change some things. 
The biggest and obvious change is that you play as a girl. The other big change is that all the chapters are only a year long, whereas in the original game they varied between a year to three years. The new stuff that was added was being able to change your clothes, more furniture for your house, being able to teach your dog tricks, you have to fertilize your field for grass to actually grow, whereas in the original you did not, and what many people call a small change, but is actually one of the biggest, is you can sell your goat. You can sell the goat, oh my god! Another Wonderful Life added quite a bit of content to the game, some of it very needed, just like more Friends of Mineral Town did. However, unlike Friends of Mineral Town, this generation of games got a third game that was on the PlayStation 2, called A Wonderful Life Special Edition. This version was remembered well because it ran so very poorly. <laughs> it was a horrible port of the GameCube game. Fun fact, you can buy this on the PlayStation Network store right now to play on your PS4, and it runs perfectly fine. Just don't play it on the PS3 or the PS2, because oh my god I've never seen a game run so slowly as those two versions. Anyway, this version only lets you play as the male main character once again, but it has all the content that Another Wonderful Life had, plus even more extra stuff. This version added clothes for the male main character, you're able to marry Lumina, a villager who you weren't able to marry in the original, you got more records to play music on your farm, there were new character interactions added in, and your child could be a girl, which was my favorite thing about the special edition because the older Harvest Moon games only ever let you have boys, so this was pretty exciting. When you look at all three games, A Wonderful Life actually had quite a bit of content despite how much the chapter system controls, and how small the map is. I think a remake that combined all three of these games together would be a fantastic Harvest Moon experience, especially for newer gen consoles. No matter how old these games get, the one thing that will never leave is the feeling I get when I play them, which is why the only thing I would ask if they did get remade into one game, is for that game to try and look as similar as possible to the GameCube version. The likeliness of that happening is super slim, but I can dream. Anyway, that's all from me today. What did you think of my list? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree? What old Harvest Moon games would you like remade? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. In the description there are links to my Twitter, my Discord, and my second channel, so go check them out if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.